be sure to check the YouTube description for links to the playlists, um, which will help you find other episodes, as well as links to other files and junk. A few of my friends asked that I make an episode zero, so here you go. This is what you see when you start up the game. We're going to start game. We're going to create a new career mode. Let's just call it demo. All right, and we're career mode, and then you pick your flag. Any old flag will do. A capsule, that sounds great. All right, start. All right, this is what you get from the very beginning, and there's an important lesson to be learned right here. There's two ways to interact with stuff. You can you can click on it, and you can hold down the right button and pan your view. We're going to go straight into the vehicle builder, and I'm going to show you a very simple little rocket you can build to start racking up science, and then we're going to get a little more advanced with each flight. Up at the top, we got exit, launch, save, load, new, We've got where we can change our flag. We've got where we can name and describe our spaceship. We've got our astronauts, who's on board. We have action keys, very handy for doing a whole bunch of right clicks and clicks with the push of a button, essentially. And then this tab just brings us back to our parts list over here. All right, we're going to start out with just picking a command pod. And we're going to right click it. Notice how it tells us how much electrical power it has and how much monopropellant it has. It's just important to know that you can right click parts. Well we've got our capsule and this will control it. It's got reaction wheels in it, which reaction wheels are really cool. They actually exist in real life and they use them on the space station to rotate it so its solar panels are always facing the sun. And really it's just a gyroscope. It's just a gyroscope spinning and it actually moves uh, moves your vehicle. We're going to go into utility and grab our parachute. We're going to attach it to the top. This is a handy anti-death device. Then we're going to go into propulsion because we need to be able to send it somewhere. And we're going to give it a couple of fuel tanks. Why did I only give it two fuel tanks? Well, when we start out the game, in structure, we don't have a decoupler. And what that is, is the ability to dump this much of the spaceship now we're also going to grab a couple of these solid rocket boosters to make sure we really get up there. I'm just going to do two of them. Notice how I've only got the one here, and this is a good time to talk about symmetry mode. Down in the corner there's this single dot. Well if I start clicking it I turn into slices of a pie. Well that many pie slices is how many of these solid rocket boosters I'm going to get. The hotkey for this is X. And I use the hotkey for symmetry mode a lot when I'm constructing things. As far as techniques go, it's often a good idea to build one of your sides first. Like, I'm not actually going to build this, but let's say I have a bunch of parts all connected to this thing. Well, this is kind of a master part. So if I grab that, because that's where I started from, this is all together kind of as one kind of big part. And what I mean by that is, now that I'm connected here, if I either click down over here, or I use the X key and do my symmetry mode. Now I've got a whole bunch of that. So that's just a handy thing to note. I think he'll be fine, but I'm a little worried about the weight of this thing. I, I don't like landing the whole spaceship. So we're gonna add a couple more parachutes. And how I did that is I just went to utility and I grabbed my parachute, I stuck it on there. All right, now is an excellent time to talk about our stages. This orange bar over here, each one of these orange bars is a strike of the space bar. Example, I'm going to hit the little plus here to generate another space bar, and then I'm going to mouse over this booster. You see how this illuminates white? See how they kind of illuminate each other? That's so you can find it on your vehicle. Well, either down here, on either one of these, we're going to drag it, and now you see how we've separated it into its own little group. The first time we press spacebar, these boosters are going to go off. And right now, the second time we press spacebar, it's going to ignite this engine, and all the parachutes are going to deploy. So you may have guessed it, we're going to add another spacebar, and we're going to put that engine in there. Our game is loaded here, and at least right now in the game, you definitely don't want to be pushing a bunch of buttons or trying to do a bunch of stuff right when it loads. Not because the game's going to crash, but because when the physics engine is turning on, if you're making the reaction wheels do stuff, 
it, it can really break up your ship and sometimes you've got to reload the your game you've got to go back to the very first menu screen and resume your game notice how we're very delicately balanced on this engine same deal if I start hitting uh, W A S D my directional arrows that's gonna affect my reaction wheels and I'm probably gonna to topple this over now is an excellent time to talk about keys what we've got here in red is what I call gamer home row you're gonna to wanna to have your middle finger of your left hand on W, your index finger on D, and your other finger on A. And uh, they just function as up, down, left, right. Now the keys in green around those red keys, those are just kind of other buttons you're gonna be using a lot. F is the use button, R is to toggle RCS, T is to toggle stabilization, Q and D rotate your spaceship. Shift, control, and X are all related to the throttle. Shift and control, throttle up, throttle down, and X is to completely kill your engine. And lastly here I've added a set of yellow keys. The two that are kind of by themselves off in the corner, the greater than less than sign, that's to speed up and slow down the passage of time. Time warp. The number keys across the top, those are basically programmable hotkeys and we will get into them later. Back to our spacecraft here, we're going to want to throttle up by holding down shift and notice how it's moving my throttle indicator up as I tap it. Control will move it back down. Well, we're going to throttle all the way up. We're going to press T, and that will illuminate our SAS button, which turns on the stabilization that's enabled in our, in our command pod here. And we're ready to go. So once we strike spacebar, what's going to happen is we're going to execute each one of these orange blocks here. The first spacebar strike will ignite both of these solid rocket motors. The second spacebar strike is going to activate this liquid motor. The third spacebar strike is going to turn on all of our parachutes. So here we go, spacebar. And notice how we're flying up pretty much in a straight line. If our SAS was not on, that would not be the case. We would probably be tumbling everywhere. And for the purposes of this flight, we're going to want to fly mostly straight up. If we start to get really high up here, I'm going to want to start tilting over towards this 90 here but we don't need to really get that high on this flight this is just for getting a little basic science going alright now we're going to want to strike spacebar again notice how we've run out of fuel and that will activate this next engine which is going to run off these two tanks of fuel and you can get to any information on these things by right clicking we're going to want to go to our map which we can either click down here or we can press M and we're going to want to scroll with the scroll wheel and pan by holding the right button and just kind of see what's going on here you see how my AP is like basically straight up this would be really bad if we were trying to get into orbit but we're just trying to get high enough into space to just do some science and get some experience points, some science points alright, we're going to pause you may have noticed my g-force indicator go up that's a good way to know when you've run out of fuel when you're in map mode so we're going to go back to our spaceship. We can either click on staging here, or we can press M to toggle back and forth. And here we are, floating off. We're going to press M here and go back into our map. When we're at the AP, we're going to want to do our science. So I'm going to press the uh, greater than, less than buttons to speed up or slow down the passage of time. Notice how it's up here, I'm going four times. All right, you see how that has a 45? That's how many seconds till we get there. So we're gonna use greater than, less than. We're gonna slow down time. All right, now we're gonna go back to our ship's view. We can do that by pressing M. We're gonna go EVA. To go EVA, we can either click on this EVA down here or we can left click on our door to get out, which as you can see, sometimes kind of unreliable. But I'm gonna mouse down to his avatar here and I'm gonna click EVA. While we're on EVA, you're going to want to do an EVA report. You right click on your Kerbal and say EVA report, and you'll get this science window. You could transmit it if we brought antennas, which we didn't, or you can just keep the data, or you can reset the experiment. We're going to keep the data. We're going to press F, the use button, to get back in the capsule before something bad happens. The other way we can get science points is by right clicking on our capsule and going to crew report, which is right here same kind of deal it gives us the results of the experiment we can transmit or keep it or reset it we're gonna keep this data 
Now we're going to press M and go back to our map mode. And you see how we've peaked, we've reached our apoapsis, and we've started falling back down into the ocean. And that's fine, that's exactly what we wanted to do here. So we're going to strike spacebar one more time to deploy all of our parachutes. See how they turn blue and that spacebar disappeared? Now we're just going to fall. And we're going to use time warp with the greater than less than signs. Oh, our throttle's up. See, we got a message here. We're going to either press X or hold down control to get this throttle all the way down. Now we're going to time warp. And we're going to fall. And you probably want to kill your time warp probably about a thousand meters. Because time warp with parachutes can have some problems. Sometimes they just don't work or sometimes they rip off. So you see, I probably should have stopped a little earlier, but I, I put my time warp back to regular. And I'm just going to let him fall until I see these parachutes catch. I'm going to time warp again, and, but I want to stop before these parachutes are going to catch or else they might not function right. So see how we're at two here? Now is when I'm going to stop time warping. All right. Going to fall. Come on, parachutes. Oh, gosh, we're getting really close. There we go. Parachutes deployed. And now same thing, I'm going to time warp. But before I hit the ground, I want to stop time warp or bad things can happen. Alright, we're really close. I can see my shadow. So I'm going to stop time warping and just kind of let him fall. <laughs> Our engine blew up, but more or less intact. So we're going to recover the vessel. And you can just mouse up here and click recover. And let's collect our science. 21 for this mission. And here's a list of everything we did to get science. And then basically the game from here is pretty much repeat. And we're going to go over some of these buildings here really quick. In the tracking center, these are flights I currently have going on. In the research and development center, this is my tech tree where I can use that science to get new parts. The astronaut center is where I can get new Kerbals to fly, and it's basically just I pick a name I like. And in the spaceship hangar, this is a lot like the vehicle assembly building we were in earlier, but this is for building space planes. If you enjoyed this episode, and if you're interested in more construction tutorials, that's where I'm picking up after my docking and rendezvous episode, which was five. So episode six is going to be all about construction from here on out. Um, this was just kind of a basic guide to get you on your feet, because part of this game is monkeying around with stuff and discovering it does not work. In the next episode, our construction episode, we're going to get into action groups, and we're going to talk about some more advanced construction techniques.